Hello everyone, it is Carrie with Trail Traveler, and I have got the world's strangest GMRS radio. We're going to test this thing out, see what it's all about. This thing is, uh, it's kind of funny, actually. It is a two-way FRS GMRS wristwatch radio. Now, Katarina found this at the thrift store that she manages. She's like... I have got to bring this home for you. Brand new condition. The plastic cover is still on the screen. I took it off this one so I could get one of them set up. But yeah, you have a clock function on this and a 22 channel GMRS radio. Let's get into this, right? Let's look at the box. So it says up to 1.5 mile range. We're going to test that out, see exactly what kind of range we can get out of this thing. 22 FRS and GMRS channels. So 1 through 14 FRS and 15 to 22 are GMRS. Uh, they're all the same power output, so we'll get to that in a moment. 38 subcodes. Now, it only supports CTSS codes. It does not support DCS codes. So... That means two things for me. One, I cannot set them up to use our repeaters because the repeaters use DCS codes. And I can't set it up to use our normal channel that we use in on the trails when we're off-roading because that uses DCS. Um, but not really important. Uh, it's really just cool so you could easily set up a custom code between these so that you don't hear anybody else. So it's got a digital clock voice activated switch so you can just start talking and it'll pick that up a backlit lcd display that's easy to read even at night channel scan scan through the the numbers there a call alert for urgent calls I'm not really sure how that works yet and 300 milliwatts power output for a stronger clearer signal um 300 milliwatts wow that sounds like a lot, um, but that's 0 0.3 watts. Now, considering the low-end handy talkies we use are 5 watts, and some of them would get up to like 8 watts, but generally a handy talkie uh, radio is going to be 5 watts, and this is 3 tenths of a watt. I'm not expecting a whole lot out of these. That being said, when I posted in my uh, local... GMRS Facebook group, I had three people offer to buy these from me. <laughs> they said, oh, we've used them around our neighborhood. The kids love them. Um, you know, they, they, they've actually worked really, really well. Okay, fine. Um, now, I'll, I told you Katarina picked these up. She paid a whopping $6 for this kit. So you have two chargers and the two watches here. Check this out. A little flip-up antenna. That's pretty cool. Uh, on the side, we've got the charging port and the plus and minus keys over there. On this side, we have the scan and power menu button. So that's, that's the key to everything. In normal mode, which I think it is right now. So in normal mode, which it's in right now, you see the clock. And uh, that's it. If you hold down the power for a few seconds, I think it's like three seconds, then it goes into radio mode, and I can see I'm on channel 15 there. So, I mean, they work. I've tested them I just in the house. That's all I've tested them so far. So we are going to put these to the test today. We're going to see how much range in different situations we can get out of these. So we're going to try them just on our street, see how far we can go. Then we're gonna go to the park and just see what we can get out of these. I'm very curious to see how they work. Not just watch to watch communication, but watch to a handy talkie or even the mobile in the Jeep, which those are gonna be much more high power. How well will those work communicating with these and what kind of range we can get out of them? So it's gonna be an interesting test. Um, you can buy this kit right here on eBay right now for like 15 bucks. 
and like I said, Katarina paid six, and the batteries were not even installed in the watch. So it's like having brand spanking new batteries and everything. And I think this had a year on it or something. I think these are, I, I gotta think these are like 20 years old or something. I mean, they're, they're very old. There's not even a manufacturer on here. It just says made in China. Um, the manual, there, there is a manual that comes with it. No URL, no email, no company name. It just is called the X32X-2. That's it. X32X. Two of them. So uh, if you want to look it up, that's what you, you're going to find. And the only mention of these I could find anywhere are eBay listings. I found no review, nothing, no article anywhere about these things. So I think we're going to go have some fun and see how good these very inexpensive and fairly goofy wristwatch GMRS units actually work. So I know anyone my age is probably going, okay, that's really Dick Tracy type stuff going on right there. He had the two-way wrist TV. Well, we have the two-way GMRS radio wristwatch. Let's go and see how well these things work. I'm really curious to find out. Okay, well, our house is right down the street. It's several blocks down. I mean, maybe maybe a quarter mile. I'll put the exact distances below so we can see exactly where we're at. Let's give this thing a try and see how it sounds. All right, Katarina, can you hear us? Yep, now I can. Okay, sounds pretty good so far. Let me get it close to the microphone. Go ahead again. Yep, I can. Your microphone is straight to my mouth. So, sounds pretty good. We're going to keep going, go to the next location, and we'll see just how far of a range we can get. We're now at a second location, and our house is about a mile over in that direction. Okay, let's give it a try and see if we can talk to each other at a mile distance through all these houses. Are you there? Can you hear us? Okay, we're starting to break up a little bit, but considering this is not line of sight and we've got all these houses in between us, I'm actually surprised it works. Okay, can you still hear us? Okay, that seems to be pushing the range out in uh, this type of environment. Let's go find a spot where we can really get some distance and see just how far we can push these little guys. <laughs> okay, we are out here at Carter Lake. Uh, we are on opposite ends of the lake. I'm on the northwest side and Katarina is over at a campsite on the southeast side. She is three miles away, almost exactly. I'll, I'll get an exact measurement on Google Maps, but let's see if this thing works. Okay, Katarina, can you hear me? So it's not perfect. It's not perfect sound. It's a little staticky, but I can understand her. Think I should come back there and do fishing or come back over here? So, I mean, when we're closer, it does sound better, but for something that's 0 0.3 watts, a ten, three tenths of a watt to be making it three miles, I gotta say, for these little guys that we only paid $6 for at a thrift store, I'm blown away that we had this kind of quality at this kind of range. Well, let's go pick up Katarina and uh, we'll call it a day, but I think this was a very, very successful test of these. So, let's go have some fun and get some poles in the water.